Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Sunday, the 18th of August, 2024. Ending Friday the 23rd, we just got through uh, August options expiration. Usually July and August are two of the most boring options expirations of the year, and they definitely were this time, and Friday was horrible. So nothing going on. Uh, <clears throat> but we're getting close to getting to Labor Day, and after that, the market usually picks up, even though we had this weird plunge this week. We'll talk about that in a minute. Here's a look at the dollar index. Daily chart didn't do much this week. The euro dollar, usually the inverse of the dollar index, is not. It's heading the same direction. So the euro is heading up and the dollar is heading up. Um, we've got a nice, look at that formation. We've got a nice cup and handle, double bottom type of formation. This thing could break out and run if you look at it. Uh, the pound dollar also heading up and getting near highs, uh, even though it's been flat for months. Uh, so it is what it is. The ES, yeah, you know, you talk about last Monday, the world was falling apart. Now we're Heading back towards highs again, and we just had one of the strongest weeks on record, which is crazy, obviously, to many people. Uh, but I would, like I like to say, the uh, rumors of the uh, economy's demise are greatly exaggerated. Employment, unemployment is still low, and inflation is heading down. So, <sighs> is what it is. It's a very strong economy. Stop telling yourself otherwise. S and P cash again, getting near the highs again. Why not? Let's go break out and call it a day. NASDAQ 100, you know, good rebound. Uh, there was a lot of money lost over a couple of weeks, but, you know, now that I think the world's back on track a bit and making sense, uh, this is obviously rebounding. Russell 2000, not as strong, but that's fine. It's Until interest rates go down, I wouldn't expect it to be. And crude oil coming in at 75.54 on the close on Friday. You know, that's good. Uh, I mean, you know, the thing about oil is always twofold, right? Number one, you want it to be lower because you don't want inflation. You don't want it to cost money to move things around the country and do all this other stuff. Number two, though, you get too low and you're looking at, you know, are we just not having enough demand in the economy? And that's a different story. But right now, I think we're just happy to be where we're at. Bitcoin uh, back down to 59000 and change. Um, after being up to 75000 nothing special here. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, this thing looks like it's good. I mean, look at this construction. This looks, this is a cup and whatever. This thing could break out and run, in which case interest rates are going to come shooting down uh, for mortgages and stuff like that, and regardless of what the Fed does. That's a really good sign for the economy. We need to get this stuff back a bit. We got the VIX at 1480 Um you know, after the spike. Now, remember, again, when the VIX gets over 40, that's usually the bottom. Monday was the bottom. So pretty much definition of a VIX spike, we got it. Uh, it was kind of out of the blue, though, I won't lie. Um, but it is what it is. So uh, it caused the bottom in the market, and we'll see what that leads to. Advanced decline ratio was mostly positive all week. Uh, more stocks up than down. The trend closes at uh, 1.09, puts the 10-day at 0.93. And again, it's until the 10 day, the orange line goes under the 0.85 number. It doesn't really matter. That's the sell signal on the market if you get that. The ES intraday 10 minute candles, you can see last Friday. And then, you know, flat on Monday, gap up and drift higher on Tuesday, pretty flat on Wednesday, gap up and drift higher on Thursday, and nothing on Friday for options expiration. However, having said that, you know, you still gained 240 points for the week on the ES. So that's a pretty big week. Um, NASDAQ. Similar looking, um, and you know, like I said, back to whatever volume was you know decent all week long, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, in terms of some of the key stocks, we look at Apple's heading back towards highs, Amazon, which had plunged, uh, now coming back quite a bit. Meta is about to break out, that's a new highs, Google, um, mid range, but you know. They lost a lawsuit, but they still have a lot of other things going on. We'll see what happens there. Goldman Sachs, uh, near highs is what it is. Netflix, uh, cut forming, uh, near highs. Tesla, this thing like got hit a little bit. You got to love the static trend line. That's the red line. So we got the nine bars up. Thing ran from uh, 180 something, 182 to uh, 270, which is a pretty big run for Tesla. And then pulls back and then bounces literally to the penny off of the static trend line. Not that I'm saying our our uh, technicals work perfectly, but eh, work pretty perfectly. Uh, Nvidia almost did the same thing. Now bouncing, and you had the 13 cell signal, and then came back and tested the static trend line. Uh, came within a few dollars of it, and heading back towards highs. Zoom, not so much there, and first solar, not so much there. Didn't quite get a 13 buy signal, but 
it is what it is. So that's the week. Uh, that's where we're at on the daily charts of some of the key stocks we're looking at. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out in the week ahead, on Monday, we've got uh, the CB leading index at 10 a.m., uh, nothing else here in the U.S. Tuesday, nothing really in the U.S., a couple of Fed members speaking. Uh, Wednesday, uh, crude oil inventories at 10.30, minutes from the last Fed meeting at 2, that doesn't really matter. So it's, it's really a light week. Thursday, flash manufacturing and services PMI along with the initial and continuing jobless claims numbers. Um, existing home sales at 10 a.m., Natty Gas at 10.30, and then on Friday, uh, the Fed Chair speaks and new home sales at 10. So there's really, I mean, this is one of the lightest weeks of the year you're going to find for economic data, so I don't think it's going to change the world. Um, so that's where we're at. Charts as usual brought to you by Ninja Trader. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week, and we have some good stuff coming.